What's up ladies and gents, my name is Malcolm, also known as Beta, and today, yes, I am finally doing a complete gameplay walkthrough of Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. After what, weeks and weeks putting off this walkthrough, ladies and gents, we are finally here, and I am really excited to jump with this and play this for y'all today, ladies and gents, mainly because I was going to say I'm a big fan of the Mafia series, but I've never played Mafia 2 or 1 before. I did do a full gameplay walkthrough of Mafia 3, and I do love that game, mainly because of the story and characters in my personal opinion mafia 3 has one of the best stories and characters and uh um, and video games for i mean uh, it has one of the best stories and characters in uh this generation like that it's it's beautiful beautifully well done well crafted amazing like the character arcs and how they go about uh their dynamics and whatnot is freaking phenomenal and i heard many good things about mafia 2 it's on the same level storytelling and characters the same thing with mafia one i'm like you know what let's go plus i like this type of gangsta uh gangster um video games like i wish there was more of this type of games plus i'm a huge fan of this not like noir but the freaking like 50s uh, mafia gangster type movies i mean one of my favorite movies of all time is gangster squad not the best movie but god the movie is so freaking dope and of course gotta give a shout out to that one show that's pretty, pretty much a gangster show i totally forgot it's on hbo i love that it's got it's like it's pretty much the u.s version of peaky blinders which is pretty good too on netflix anyways ladies and gents before we get started with this walkthrough if you guys could please leave a like on this video if you guys like what you saw please subscribe for more content that helps with the channel a lot also when you do subscribe make sure you click that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can start receiving notifications when i post videos or go live with a live stream next time uh please share my channel and my videos to all your friends family cats and dogs and whoever who nots and you guys can all follow me on twitter at beta b-a-y-t-u-h and i also have a patreon page if you guys can please go over there donate starting at the two dollar tier so i can keep making some cool shits nuts over here at this youtube.com slash beta that is patreon.com slash beta b-a-y-t-u-h also if you guys don't have a patreon page or you do not want to use patreon but you have a paypal account i also have a paypal account you can donate to that is paypal.me slash beta b-a-y-t-u-h and without further ado ladies and gents let's get started My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life in America. Never in my life had I seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, 
I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American dream was more like a nightmare. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work, and what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually, my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't going to do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, Zito, hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, <sighs> oh, shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! Throw me to bed! Stop! Oh, shoot! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs. Fuck. Now put your hands on the bed. I'm sorry, Vito. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Shh way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini's soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return the favor. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. <laughs> All right, Scaletta. Hello, traditori. Pensate di poter giocare con noi. Amadue. Somebody toss a grenade behind the sandbag. Was I supposed to shoot that guy? They're falling back. Let's move. On me. This is running. Get up here, shit! I down, I down, shit! Gesù, how are you? Sir, it's a party for Johnny, for Macar de Valesec. Corporal, this guy's saying there's more troops headed this way. All right, you and Williams take out that MG, then find the prisoners. We're gonna need every man we can get. Ain't getting through this way. Done. I don't know if the voices are too loud or what. Oh my god. You got a grenade, Scaletta. This would be a great fucking time to use. Put a grenade through the window. Whoa! Scaletta, you alive? Yeah, just about. But well, get off your ass and let's move it. Work, grab oh. all the ammo you can carry. Look, this might be our last chance. Okay, picking up weapons, guys. God, the volume is really loud in this game. I might have turned it down and whatnot, but what are you gonna do? Alright, let's do this. Take cover, cover behind this wall. On the stairs, a grease ball. Oh, yeah. No nice stop, folks. Oh, my God. I do not like these controls. Must have the prisoners upstairs. Clear the second floor. Scaletta, you take point. Why I gotta take point? 
I don't know these guys like that. Yeah. Slim Thugger. About house outlaws. The door's going. Kick it in. Hold on. You guys ready? Voice crack. Call of Duty style. Breaching, breaching. Oh. Oh, whoops. Like we're going this way. Come on. That was not my fault. We gotta keep moving. Get inside. I shot first. We need they got reinforcements. The gun on the balcony. Okay, okay, I'm going. Oh, this gun. Say hello to my little friend. Uh, I'm going hard in the paint. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovessi ascoltare i consigli di noi altri del posto. Ci rendiamo. Sapete che potete fidarvi di me. Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? because he told them to. A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit. And then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Vito! Over here! Joe! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sources. Come on, let's take a ride. 
Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. There it is. Empire Bay. Tell the truth, you miss it? Hey, there's a bear shit in the woods. Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. What's with this shitty weather? They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry, though. A drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? Almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito. Come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, uh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading. Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Ah, uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit. Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here. Wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Salud. Salud. Chin down. How come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? <laughs> What'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't want to go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. Hey, Giuseppe. It's Joe. Remember uh, last week, you know, the, guy, the guy's name is... Uh, Vito Scaletta. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, listen up. It appears that your injury is much more serious than it first appeared, and the doctors say you can't fight no more. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. Did you just... Like I said, I know people. You get all the official paperwork tomorrow. When it comes to the right stamps and signatures, it's just a question of money. You're kidding me, right? Isn't that a bit risky? It's me that could end up in a slammer, you know? And how am I gonna pay for it? I got it covered. Think of it as a welcome home present. And don't worry, the documents will be clean. Trust me. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Como no frade, you're like a brother to me. Now you can start thinking about what you're gonna do next. Sure. But first, I gotta go home. All right, you wanna ride? No, thanks. I wanna walk around a little, see what's changed since I've been gone. No problem. Say hello to your sister for me. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. I can't believe you just got me out of the service. Thanks again. No problem. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. I'm going to get a copyright claim from this. A lot of these songs are going to give me a copyright claim, so I might have to... The audio might be a little weird, so sorry in advance. Plus, man, I don't, I don't know who, who wanted to... Who wants to bang who in that freaking restaurant? Jesus Christ, they're having a fight, huh? Go upstairs to Mama's apartment. Hi, Mama. I'm back. <laughs> Vito. Vito. 
It's oh, my boy. <laughs> my boy's home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Hey, sis, what's going and on? We wait for you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Sit down, sit down. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah. Sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Felice Signore, Pronunciata, Preparata Volontà, Siamo Vicinelli, Provino nel Foro Piccino Geniale. You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. Boardwalk Empire. That's the freaking show I was thinking of at the beginning of my intro. Boardwalk Empire. <sighs> so how you two been? Franny, what have you been up to? I still live here with Mama. I got a nice office job. It pays the bills, and I started paying off some of Papa's debts. Francesca, we don't want to talk about that now. How are you, mio bambino? It must have been so terrible. I was so afraid. I prayed for you every day. I'm okay, Ma. I drove a jeep most of the time. Sometimes I had a fight. So what, he left two years ago? And this is how he left his room? I honestly thought that was an anime girl poster right there. Sorry, I got anime on my mind. I want to rewatch my love story. I just got done watching my My Hero Academia. I see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. Trust me, I know the feeling, my man. <laughs> Leaking Clay's combat jacket. Oh, yeah. How do I look with, with this one? So it's only the Lincoln Clay one and this other one. Yep. All right. If we're taking the Lincoln Clay one. Again, Mafia 3. Play Mafia 3. It's not a bad game. The story is worth it alone. So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe! You want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him, work hard like you were your papa. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Leo. As long as I don't have to search for any sailors, shoot, we straight. God, shit, Moo. Never finished that walkthrough. If I remember correctly, ladies and gents, I said I was going to get back to that game and do a full walkthrough of it. What the heck? What the heck? Yo, don't freaking close doors on me like there's a specter in here. What's the matter with y'all? I don't give I'm a sorry. damn. I don't care we'll if you got to sell hey, everything you got. What the hell's going on here? Vito! You mind your business, no. asshole. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Ugh. 
Come on, Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, tough guy, scaring a woman, huh? Come on, show punch, me what you punch, got. Punch, 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 punch. Vito, please. You're making it even worse. That one hurt. Where's the soccer ball? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Please, Vito, this isn't oh God, that was just a tutorial. This mother ever is serious now. Come on, say, what do you got for me? Oh. Yeah, what you got for me? Come on, come on. Put him up there. Put him up there. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Ninjutsu kick flip. Ah, fuck this. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. The both of you. What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark, thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this week. Otherwise, the debt goes up again. <sighs> I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. I promise. Thanks, Vito. Take care of yourself. <sighs> I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out. Well, dude, we could have just one shot of that mother effort easily. Oh, yeah, by the way, I think this game has like side quests and whatnot. We're just mainlining this game. Sprinting. Man. Kinda wish they would have remade this game just like they're doing with Mafia 1. But, you know, can't win them all. Grass up in the sky tonight. Where's this blue person walking? Oh, officer? Who are you? Who goes there? Sorry, Cassie. She's trying to get some rest. I'm recording this almost four in the morning at the moment. My dog's trying to get some sleep while she's on my bed. But guess what? This is payback, Cassie, for all those times Trying to ask for a snack and whatnot. Wait, which one is his, his apartment? Oh, he's probably up one more floor. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? To the right of the stairs. And tell him that racket last night has to stop. If he don't like it, he can find another place to live. on my way back from the store. I've been waiting. All right, girls, that's it for now. I got business. Stop by tomorrow, okay? We'll pick up where we left off. Chop, chop. Come on, Joey. Better hit to stop we can all have fun. The fun's over, baby. Later, I said. Me and Vito here haven't seen each other for a long time. We got a lot of catching up to do. Looks like you're doing okay, Joey boy. Not bad. I tell you, that little Spanish broad is fucking wild. So how'd it go at home? Good. Mama wasn't thrilled when I mentioned your name, though. 
You know how she is. She wants me to get a straight job. You gonna look for one? I don't know. But I sure as hell ain't gonna make the same mistake my old man did. I gotta pay off his debts, then get back on my feet and get my own place. I need to make some real money, and punching the clock ain't gonna cut it. Hey, you can stay with me as long as you need to, and we'll find you a job where you can make good money without killing yourself, all right? Music to my ears. Right now, I'm living off the 20 bucks the state gives me every week. <laughs> I know lots of people who pay well for a risky job, so to speak. I'm sure I can line something up for my oldest friend. The working man's a sucker, that's for damn sure. You said it. Okay, step one. I gotta introduce you to Giuseppe so we can pick up them discharge papers. Let's go. You made enough cash for all this in the last three years? More like the last three months. I barely had time to furnish the place. Three months? Holy shit. You just gotta know the right people, and you're all set. Cause you know me. So you thought about what you're gonna do now? You said you were gonna introduce me to that guy Giuseppe. No, 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 no. I meant, you know, the big picture. When you was over there, didn't you think about what you was gonna do when you got back? No, well, not really. Well, besides the usual, you know. Find a nice girl, settle down. Whoa. Hey, there's gonna be plenty of time for that shit later. Right now, I'm gonna make sure you live a little. Hey, uh... Thanks again for that thing with the discharge papers. Hey, all I did was make a phone call. You can thank Giuseppe when we go pick him up. Where to, Vito? Nope, my name is Vito. What's this dude's name again? Joe. There we go. <laughs> hey, uh, you think I could, uh... What? Drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank, I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... Never mind. It, you gonna let me drive a while? All right, all right. Here's the keys. Just be fucking careful. All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Just for that, I'm gonna crash right into a freaking wall. Okay, now make a right here. Then just go straight for a while. Man, I'm gonna follow the map. Don't tell me what to do, boy. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow it down a bit. No need to get pulled over for no reason. Wait, you can get pulled over and whatnot in this game? There's like a cop. Hey, Vito, you know what time it is? It's daytime. How the fuck should I know? It's time for you to get your own fucking car. Yeah, I'd love to if I could afford one. Who says you're gonna pay for it? Tell me to hotwire car. Thanks for the tutorials. The on the go tutorials. You know, you wasn't kidding. They really taught you to drive over there. At least something good come out of it. Yeah, I'm trying not to crash. Hello, officers. <laughs> Ooh, get a load of that baby. Nice, that's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that, it'd be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe's. Welcome to Giuseppe's General Store, a thief's paradise. You name it, he's got it. He even sells phony gun permits and discharge papers for guys tired of getting their asses shot off. Hey, Giuseppe, I brought Hello, you a Joe. new customer. He's uh, straight up, right? Yes, sir, all the way. This here's Vito, my oldest friend. This is Giuseppe, the best safe cracker uh, in Empire retired, Bay. Retired, please. How are you? The papers for you? Yeah, they are. You got them finished already? It was a pain in the ass, but sure, they're done. Well, thanks. This really gonna work? Nobody from the army will bother you again, trust me. You see? what I tell you? Here's the money. Take your papers, Vito. Uh, we need a set of lockpicks, too. That we do. And guess who's paying for them?
Grazie. But you can test it right now. Here, take this lock. You just need to insert the pick into the lock and lift all the pins. You use the wrench to hold the pins one by one. When all of the pins are set, just turn the wrench and the lock she opens. Easy. Ah, oh, damn it. See you around, Giuseppe said Benedig. Easy, huh? Don't I worry, you'll get the hang of it. I do it all the time when I lock my keys in the car. That's a pain. Can we just like break a window in half? Nah, that probably would been a bad idea. Okay, you still feel like snagging that car? You kidding me? Absolutely. Well, here's your chance. Got it. Got it. Possible stolen vehicle. Step on it. Copy that. Vehicle theft in progress. In pursuit of suspect. Well, it's not over yet. Lose them. Quick. 10 4. What were you fucking driving? I should have just ran that officer over. Oh, God, Jesus. All right. Looks like we lost it. So how do you like the car? Not too bad. I think I'll keep it. All right, let's go find ourselves a body shop. They provide the kind of services we're looking for. Hey, that don't sound cheap. Don't worry about it. I got it covered. Just find any body shop. I know the guy who runs it. Huh, this is really like GTA, yeah, huh? Park right here in front of the garage door. Okay, now honk your horn. What? I didn't even do anything. It's not my fault this idiot just ran into the car. God. At least it doesn't take a lot to lose these pigs. Okay, let's do this again. They acted like I ran into the dude. This, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I wasn't paying attention much, but did he run into my car or like? He tripped over himself. Oh, I just realized we're still wanted. That actually makes sense. Oh. So, something I can do for you? No license plate. <laughs> for you, no problem. There you go. Gave her a couple of... Thanks a lot. All right, next you should introduce yourself to Mike Bruski. He'll probably have some work for you. All right, where is he? He owns a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss him. Riverside, California. Here we go. Or more like in Riverside, New York. Ha, huh, you stupid pigs. I just ran a red light. What are they gonna do about it? Can't touch this, man. Can't touch this body shop. This car, what you gonna do? 
Yes, I'm saying random words. Do they make sense? Hell no, dog. But what you gonna do? Sorry, it's four in the morning, ladies and gents. I am tired right now, but I have energy. In two more hours, I'm gonna go walk my dogs, get some breakfast, go to sleep. Oh yeah, I do gotta render this video and export it and upload it to YouTube. It's never gonna post hey, until Tuesday. Who's that guy back there? What guy? The guy at the body shop. Oh, Tommy. He's my buddy's nephew. He's kind of quiet, but let me tell you, the kid's some hell of a dancer. Saw him at the old dance hall in Easter Bay a couple of weeks ago. He had all the broads going nuts. Do I detect a hint of uh, jealousy? Are you kidding? I don't need no dance moves. I got charm, my friend. Here, I'll give you some of my lines, so maybe you won't have to spend so many nights with Rosie Palm and her five sisters. Hey, here's one. Hey, is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. <laughs> hey, here, I got another one. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Oh, oh, come on. I got one sixty-nine. <laughs> oh, this one never fails. Hey, baby, that's a nice outfit. It'll look good crumpled up at the foot of my bed in the morning. And this works for you. Oh, hey, here's a good one. Hey, do you know the difference between sex and conversation? No? You want to go back to my place and talk? You got problems, you know that? How about this one? Why don't we go back to my place and play house? You be the door and I'll slam you. Oh, that was bad. Hey, when you measure seven soft, you don't have to be good with words. You get my drift? That's Mike's junkyard there. Just drive through the gate. Well, that's something you say to, like, your wife that you guys been, or your girlfriend that you guys been with each other for more, uh, 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 been with each other for more than, like, two years. Don't say that on your first date. Hey, look who's hey, here. Hey, Mikey boy, what's going on? Shit, Mike, you can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bed. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, you know. Besides, I just wiped them off. With what? The same fucking rag you used to clean the toilet, you filthy fuck? Put a lid on it. What, what are you, from the health department, or you want to do some business? <laughs> business, of course. This here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruski. But don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. Hey, uh, me and Vito go way back. He just come back from overseas and he needs some cash. So I figure he can help with your uh, supply problem. I can vouch for him. Uh-huh. Okay. Joe told you about our side business, right? Yeah. I only want regular cars, nothing fancy. You get a cut of every car. I take as many as I can handle. And don't bring no cops around, okay? They follow you here. I don't know your ass from Jesus. You get me? Got it. God damn it, Mike. You put your grubby mitts on my fucking coat. I paid a fortune for this thing. All right, calm down or I'll stick them up your ass, you sissy. You know, dry cleaning costs Jesus these days Christ. plenty. And who knows if they can even get this filled you out. You shut up. Vito, listen to me. I need a Walter Coop today. I got a few people looking for parts, but I can't find a car. Because you don't know where to look. Every time I drive down Hunters, I see one parked by a bar there. I think the place is called the Lone Star. Isn't that a move in your neighborhood? I'll stick out like a sore thumb. All right, look, I'll give you 350 bucks for it. It's worth the risk, right? 400. <laughs> All right, deal. Uh, Vito, come on, let's go. Andiamo. Meantime, I'll be sending you the cleaning bill for my coat. Yeah, I'll change my address, you rat prick. Okay, listen up. This is your maiden voyage, so to speak. So try not to fuck it up, eh? Here, Vito, take this, just in case. Hey, nice. Hey, Mike, you mind if I test this thing out here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Here you go. Aim for that old wreck over there. Was it the war we were just in? Uh, shooting tutorial enough? Doesn't matter. Do 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 bang bang. Do 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 bang bang. Reload, reload, reload. Get behind cover. Go, go, go. Oh God, I missed. Do 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 do. 
Do 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 do. Hey, you ain't a bad shot. Hey, Vito, see if you can hit the gas tank. Easy. I right, hit the gas tank. Hey, I need some more ammo. Of course you do. Here you go. Where's that supposed to be? Of course I do. Is the gas tank right here? Oh. I I knew that. Ah, shit. Can I leave gas in that thing? There's a Polak joke there, but I'll leave it alone. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Fuck you. All right, that's enough shooting. We got work to do. Let's do this. George Lopez show. Come on, we all watch it on Nickelodeon, on Nick at Night. What was the catchphrase he does? All right, go out the way we came in and get on the main highway going west. Don't go back through the city. right up here yeah officer I ran to that corporate you gotta do you feel to be back good I feel a lot better with some money in my pocket hey what's the rush money don't buy you happiness you know get the fuck out of here I was just fucking with you don't worry about the money this little job is just the beginning pretty soon you'll be rolling in it so sand island still the same shithole it was when I left no no the place actually ain't too bad now Oh, shit. How the hell that happened? All the moolies flew south for the winter. Of course it's still a shithole, Vito. You've only been gone a couple of years. Gonna take a lot longer than that for that neighborhood to turn around. Them people multiply like rabbits. What are you gonna do? It's even worse than when we was kids. They even got some kind of gang there now. What's their fucking name? Uh, the Beamers, the Boomers, something like that. I don't fucking know. No, oh, that's just fucking great. Hey, what are you worried about? They're animals. All they do is sell dope and kill each other. They ain't gonna bother a guy like you. And even if they do, that's why I gave you that pistol. Oh, by the way, you're carrying a gun now? What's the deal with that? Can't do business without it these days. Especially in this fucking neighborhood. You, uh, really know how to inspire confidence, you know that? Outlaws to the end. What's the freaking catchphrase George Lopez does in the George Lopez show? It's not I'm back. God, Jesus. Game Boy Glass says did a joke about it when his uh, stand on his special like a couple years ago. Not a couple. God. Like about a decade ago. What was it? Oh, what was it? Christ, this is going to kill me. I mean, hopefully it doesn't. <laughs> I got so much to live for. I want a wife. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, at least Cassie's sleeping now. Sorry, Cassie. <laughs> God, what was the joke? It's that cream colored baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for you back at Mike's. What if I run into problems? Then you deal with them. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear they're hiring down at the factory. Right, just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's. Hey, what the fuck are you doing over there? <laughs> oh. Ah, shit. Oh. Oh. Come on. Ah. 
How do you like me now? Oh. Hey! Hey, what you doing, motherfucker? Oh God. Ha, I went to the head so you know you're dead, man. Yeah, I know I play like a pro in the game. You die really fast in this game, huh? How do you do it? Use the there we go. Ah. Jesus. Excuse me. Escape the bombers. <sighs> well, escaped. All right, we're almost here, man. Hey, hey mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Ah, uh, probably the bombers. Hunters their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. No stains. Clean. Where did the lowlife get the money for this? Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? 600. <laughs> oh, I like your buddy, Joe. Here's your 400 bucks. Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your 300 bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe. All right, let's go home. I'm exhausted. I wish someone would give me $400 right now. I'm talking to you, Internet. Don't let me punch my computer screen. Somehow the kinetic energy somehow ends up in your face. I don't know. That's impossible. I think I saw that in the anime once. I think it happened. What anime? I don't know. Noble Nagun or some random shit like that. <laughs> I don't know. I watch a lot of stuff. My guilty pleasure anime? High School DxD. God, that show is so freaking bad. It's so bad, but it's good at the same time. It's so bad that it's good, basically. I'm surprised we got a new season. High School DxD, a DxD hero. I wanna be a hero. But for real, the show's that good. It's like watching Plunder. Oh my god. We should take the highway, Vito. Don't talk to me like you know me. I guess you do, but you 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 you, you, you get right, my point. You pulled off that job without fucking it up. Nice going. Yeah, but I almost got my ass kicked. I didn't live through the war just to die in Sand Island. Hey, that's all part of the deal, pal. Take it or leave it. Besides, it ain't like you're qualified for anything else. Eh, I guess you're right. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna be a piece of cake. I want to beat the boss. So, uh, what's the story with Bruski? Mike's a good guy to know. He's a little grouchy, but he's always got a scam going. He deals with stolen cars mostly. Spent some time inside a while back. I heard he used to stick up gas stations back in the day. You gonna make him pay the cleaning bill for your jacket? Nah, I'll let that one slide. I do a lot of business with the guy. Plus, he's got one hell of a temper. One time we was at the track, and some mix spilled a beer on his wind ticket. 
Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. For a lousy ten bucks. You believe that shit? Sounds like kind of a scumbag. Hey, you just got an out of hand for these people. And Mike's a pussycat compared to some of the guys I met since you shipped out. You'll see. Hey, is there a safe place to park around here? I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be, huh? Oh, yeah. Wait, shouldn't we tell our family that we're living with Joe now? Living with Joe, Joe. Joe to row. This is not his apartment. Yeah, it is. If you're hungry, there's some food in the refrigerator. Oh, man. Vito. I'm Take sleeping on the couch in the, the kitchen. Fridge. Why there's a couch in the kitchen, I have no fucking idea. I miss Joe when I was overseas, but uh, not that much. Wait, this is the kitchen? Oh. Oh, there really is a couch in the kitchen. Why is there a couch in the kitchen? Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. Yeah, I should get just first. When do I get the fedora? Jesus Christ, someone's dying in there. <laughs> if you don't turn that crap down, I'm gonna call the cops. Oh, trust me, I know those days. I freaking watch him I call it. I live in an apartment complex and my brother decided to bring his stereo surround system uh, with him. And boy, let me tell you, whew, neighbors didn't take kindly to that. The problem is he has it way too loud and has the bass that is shit. Every time he plays like a game, it shakes the whole entire freaking apartment. It vibrates, reverberates. It's a nice surround system. It used to be our dad's. Since he ain't around anymore, RIP. He just had to take it. I'm like, okay. He's like, but he's like, use your TV speakers. Yo, he has a nice curved, I think, 55 inch TV. 4K TV. Like, it looks nice. But I've seen him play uh, uh, video games on it. Like, God, Jesus. But come on, man. Come on, Sean. All right, guys. We're here next to the port. Let's go. Oh, yeah. 
Oh my god, that was a cop too. Idiots. Let's go find us some sailors. It's not like that's going to get old. Freaking Shenmue. Shenmue 3 came and went. Like a fart in the wind. Okay, we're going up top. Down low, too slow. My name is MJI. Close the door, it's windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papolato. Oh, yeah? Why? My name is Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, we all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now scram, my steak's getting cold. Uh, follow me. As long as it's not like the freaking port job in GTA 5, we're good. It was Christ. Uh-oh. They mean I don't want to stay in here with him. Okay. That was something. What? I didn't know. <laughs> Shut up, internet. Right, De no, he's not there. What's his name? Shane. Load this pile of crates under that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. <laughs> if something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. You got it. We are lifting these crates. Boom, 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 boom. Thank you, boat. Christ, I was looking for guys. We're in the net. Where's my backup? Well, I granted, I told you guys to shut up, but still. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Who the fuck wants to move boxes around all goddamn day? Boxes need to get move all day. Ba 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 ba. Twing, ding, ding, ding. Ba ba da da da. Ba da. Jesus Christ! Oh, it's ten lousy bucks. You gotta be kidding me. Wait, so do I have to move all of these for ten dollars? Man, I might have to do a time skip or a, time, a transition to where I'm done. Is there any more lyric lines to I should sing, ladies and gents, before I make a transition? Or is this going to take a while? I'm moving the crates back and oh, forth. Can these guys stand this? I'm doing this for five fucking minutes. I already hate it. Oh, Vito, it has not been five fucking minutes. I got up and else. So I will do a transition right now. Right now. Uh, you know what? I don't need this chicken shit money. Okay. I can't pick it up anymore. Well, that's it for me. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. 
Don't show your face around here again. Don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. <laughs> Your name is Steve. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what Steves do. <laughs> Sorry, I have not here to make fun of Steves. He looks more of a look like like a bell. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who want to load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, Sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> my mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, go ahead. Now, where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. Might not be home. That wouldn't be good. Hi, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. i talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it into Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? Huh? What do you say? Yeah, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. Okay, Derek. Okay, so... Are you a dock worker? I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. I was just coming to pay. Actually, he's pretty good barber. Thanks. Appreciate your cooperation. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Again? I don't even go to the damn barber. Here, you give it to the Robin son of a bitch. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Hey. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. You've got the wrong guy, pal. My wife cuts my hair. Yeah, that's sweet. But while you work here, you get a haircut when Derek says. Ah! 
Okay, okay, enough already. Here's your fucking money. Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. Uh-oh. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? Watch it. You missed. <laughs> All right, that one hurt. I'm gonna give you that one. Oh God, I'm gonna give you that one too. Come on, what you got? Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? That don't make any sense. Like that one freaking kick ringer broke his spine in half, huh? I like it. It, it was like. There was like five, like what, seven people around, sounding like like a half a stadium cheering for me, or us to fight. Let's just say for me, man, I'm a freaking goat. Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Yeah, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. Hey, say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. And hey, Vito, I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. Say hello to your mother for me. I'm a Quabug. Say hello to your mother for me. Alright, let's do this. Screw you, sailors. I'm here to find you a sailors. Have you seen them? No, I don't know what they look like. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Being next to a port with a freaking boat is bringing up some bad memories with me and Shenmue. God. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I do complete... I mean, I'm a gameplay walkthrough YouTuber, ladies and gents. So you guys all know that. And I complete, like, 99 or 98% of walkthroughs. There are those that I don't complete because either something comes up or I'm just not enjoying the game. And I'm not gonna lie to you. Even though I said it in my Shimu 2 or 1 walkthrough, Shimu 1 walkthrough, I'm actually 100% happy I didn't complete that game. Uh, did a full walkthrough of it. Yeah, I have no plans of going back. Jesus, God. Right, Cassie? Look, Cassie, I know it's almost 5 in the morning you're trying to get some sleep, but call them on now. When I'm trying to talk to you, Cassie, you're supposed to say something back. All right, here we go, Freddy's. The Freddy's um, in Texas, ladies and gents, makes a great, great hot dog and burgers and ice cream. Delicious. Hey, where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. 
It's time to make some real shadow. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hiya, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen. I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Here's the address. Tell her I say it. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got beach. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back here and we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. luck, Vito. God, we just so, it's so much easier if we could do, if we do kill everyone. What Andy Cortez says from Kind of Funny, clicking heads and taking them to sheds or some, something like that. I have no clue. All right, well, can we just go this way? Whatever, let's just follow the marker, shall we? You better not run into me. We're gonna have some problems, you yellow red card. You have a call for my lawyer. Nope, that didn't make sense. You were here for my lawyer. There we go, makes more sense. Herbie fully loaded with Lindsay L L L Lohan? Or was it Lindsay, Lindsay McGuire? God, remember the Lindsay McGuire show? Let's bring that one back. Didn't that dude just get hit with a car and he he, he just turned around and be like, nope, not having this. <laughs> not today. Here we are. Nope, not here. Nope, not here. What do you say? Sorry. Jesus, God. I knew that time. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, hello, ma'am. Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me. He said you might be able to help me with a little problem down at the Office of Price Administration. Yeah, I heard about that. What do you need from me? Uh, I need to get in there tonight. All right, tell you what. My sister's in the hospital right now. If you give me a lift over there, I'll tell you everything you need to know. It's right across the street from the OPA, so it ain't like you're going to be going out of your way. Sure, no problem. Where you go? Come on, let's go. Hustle, bustle. Walk it, walk it, walk it. Okay, let's go. And take it easy behind the wheel, all right? I've seen the way you kids drive these days. All right, kid. The place is locked up pretty tight at night, so you gotta get into the back. They keep the back door open at night? No, but the basement window usually is, so that's how you can get in. You're looking for the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. It's on the top floor. So's the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay. So I go in through a window around the back, then head upstairs to the director's office, right? Right. And be careful, there's guards in there at night. Don't let them see you. What a cool idea, the speed limiter thing. Not gonna lie, I totally forgot everything she just said. What? I was 
kind of paying attention. Just focusing on the speed limiter thing. Don't want to hear it, internet. All right, kid. Drop me at the hospital right here. The office is across the street. Okay, thanks for the ride, kid. Thanks, Maria. I'll see you. Okay, let's do this. Splinter cell time. They gotta teach me some stealth. Okay, let's do this. Remember, no dead bodies, guys. Open window? No. Oh, yeah. This is crouching. Whatever, I'll take it. and watch me some television. You bought a television? I sure did. Man, those things cost as much as a car. How the hell did you afford it? Wait. So we killed him. Does that mean we don't get any money or or that's like you know, I mean, it was stealthy, right? And no one knows about it, so I guess we're straight. I don't know. Okay. Uh oh, code red, code red. My earbuds are falling out my ear. Oh no, oh no. Come on, get back in there, you little bastard. There we go. Come here, give me your body. Come on, video. We gotta go faster than this. I believe in you. There you go. Up that revolver. 
Well, I guess I can't pick up that revolver. They don't have security cameras in 1945, right? Okay, we should be coming up with the coming up to the. Here they are. That scared the ever living crap out of me. Oh, can't show that one. Titties. Do I need some keys or something? Or is that the office right above us, so... Okay, this is the director's office. This is where the key should be. Alright, here's the key. Now I gotta get to the safe. Okay. And nope, it's in the room right next to us. Do 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 David Beckham. <laughs> Okay, that's not good. There's an alarm on it. Climb over, don't Ezio me. We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. Do not surrender immediately. Later, coppers. How you doing? Good evening. Good evening. I would like some coffee. Well, how'd you make out? Uh, things got out of hand. There's nothing I could do about it. We had an agreement. Remember? You only get a third of the money if there's any shooting. Uh, let's see what we got here. Ah, shit. Something wrong? You bet your ass there's something wrong. These stamps you took have an expiration date. And that date is tomorrow. So, uh, what exactly does that mean? It means they're gonna be fucking worthless. But wait. If you can get them to the gas station attendance by midnight, They'll be able to stamp them and redeem them. You better bring them to every gas station in town. They gotta get there by midnight or we're screwed. If you don't sell them in time, you get nothing. Wait a minute, that wasn't our deal. You didn't say anything about any expiration dates. Well, shit happens, doesn't it? Look, you pull this off, I won't forget it, trust me. Now get going. The faster you unload them, the more money you get.
But there wasn't even any shooting. So how is that my fault? Alright. So long, buddy. Whatever. This dude's going out going to owe me. Alright, let's do this. Let's take care of the one all the way over here. Come on, I'm Nicholas Cage driving angry. Let's do this. That's a reference. <laughs> hey, uh, I got some extra gas stamps. You interested? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. Now forget you saw me. See ya. I want to make it in midnight. No one saw that. Hey, uh, I got some extra gas stamps. You interested? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. Now forget you saw me. See ya. Okay. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna get all of them. Maybe four at most. Oh my god. Hey, uh, interested in buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Sounds good to me. All right, that's the last of them. At least I got some cash. I should head back to Joe's. <sighs> we barely made it. Boom, we're here. Not gonna lie, didn't think we were gonna make it, but we did. Hell yeah. Now that was a Kite Man reference. Nope, that is not his place. Wait, hold on. This. Didn't know Joe could even write. We got another job. Something really big. Stop by Freddy's tonight. Bring a piece and some lockpicks. All 
Alrighty, ladies and gents, this is a perfect place to stop. Thank you all for watching this. If you guys can please leave a like on this video, guys, like what you saw. Please subscribe for more content that helps about the channel a lot. Also, when you do subscribe, make sure to click that little bell next to the subscribe button so you start receiving notifications when I post videos or go live with a live stream next time. Uh, please share my channel and my videos to all your friends, family, cats, and dogs, and whoever who not. And you guys can all follow me on Twitter at beta b a y t u h and i also have a patreon page if you guys go please go over there donate starting at the two dollar tier so i can keep making some cool shits nuts over here at this youtube.com slash beta that is patreon.com slash beta b a y t u h also if you guys don't have a patreon page or you do not want to use patreon but you have a paypal account i also have a paypal account you can donate to that is paypal.me slash beta b a y t u h and I will see you guys later.